Hello, and welcome to the Kathleen Spracklin Podcast. I am a woman on a mission to gather a cadre of writers, thinkers, and teachers who are transforming the world one character at a time. And it all starts with one thing, a deep understanding of human motivation, why people do what they do, and the forces that drive them. To gain that understanding, I am mining the intersection of psychology, theology, and philosophy to make you a better writer. This is episode number 66, Loyalty as Driver of a Subplot. How can coming through a test of loyalty provide a mid-story catharsis? We've been playing with a sequence of character traits. We started last week working with magnificence as a driver of a plot. And now this week we're playing with the concept of loyalty as a driver of a subplot within the story. And we already explored the struggle and the loss side of the triad of emotions. And now we want to talk about the victory side. We know, of course, that this as a subplot, this means that this was um, something that was going on besides our main story, maybe to add extra interest, maybe to bolster the story, or maybe to give our main character the extra courage or the extra strength or the extra character growth that needed to be able to ultimately pass the final test in, at the climax of the story. So here we are looking at loyalty as a subplot. And the question that we really want to take a look at this evening is how can coming through a test of loyalty provide a mid-story catharsis? Because when you think about the emotional journey that you're taking your reader on, it gets to be an awful gulp of emotion to start from the beginning and make him carry all the way through to the very end of the book before he gets any satisfaction or relief of tension. So instead, by creating these a subplot or a plot milestone, that lets the, uh, the hero have a moment of celebration. It lets the readers relax for a moment and put down the tensions. And it also can let our reader drop some of the information that he was trying to puzzle through. Because if you think about all this test of loyalty, loyalty is a very emotion laden character trait. That's why we picked it. We're talking about writing with emotion here. And we have had our reader, if we had him traveling with us in the story, was very concerned as to whether or not this test of loyalty would be passed. Thank goodness it was, and now our reader is ready to set down the burden of that worry. And we owe it to our reader to take him through that moment of success, that celebration, give him the permission, to the knowledge that the test has been passed so that he can let go of that burden of concern for our character. And this can lead to a great uh, readiness because now you can take a deep breath and launch into maybe the final push of the story to complete the final test and get the grand prize. So uh, this gives us added dimensionality and strength to our story and greater reader involvement. Because, of course, that's what we want to do, is we want to bring our readers along with us on our journey. But more than that, because we said from the outset that we are transforming the world one character at a time. So now here we have our character, and he has passed his test of loyalty. So our character is being transformed because, hopefully, having passed the test of loyalty this time, loyalty isn't going to come up as something that might not pass the test in the future. So uh, this is our what we're dealing with tonight, is to try and think about how could your story be continued to have that moment of celebration, to have that chance to say, yes, 
Yes, he passed that test. Yes, let's take a moment to celebrate before we continue our story. So thank you very much, and we will continue tomorrow. Bye-bye.